Hey guys, this is Tech Nitwit here, and we are going to do an overview unboxing. I don't have the box for this guy. I'm sorry. Kind of a generic unboxing. So this guy is going to be what allows you to get the GUI going and controllability of your switches and your APs and stuff like that. So this is, it's kind of important. There is software you can run on a Windows OS that replaces this um, with FreeNAS 2 and Linux and FreeBSD and all that fun jazz. You can do that, but I personally just think the cloud key is the way to go. Get the, the just regular cloud key and it allows you to have the UI and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go over this guy, um, what it, how, how it works and the different functions it has and it's different buttons. So there is a power button right here on this side. It will allow you to turn this guy off and on if for some reason you can't get into the UI and reboot it. It's right there. And then you come back around here. If you don't have PoE, there's a USB-C and this guy powers it. There's a reset button right here. And then you also have a micro SD card. It comes with this bendable flat cable that allows you to bend it in different positions. So you can plug it into your switch. Let me do that really quick and I'll show you what that kind of looks like. So if you were to come down here and you wanted to bend the cable and then plug it into this guy to control these switches, you would have it plugged in like that. So I'm personally just going to probably eliminate this cable and have a blue cable and have it set up top. This guy does get warm. You don't have to worry about it getting really, really hot. I wouldn't set it on top of a very warm server, maybe a, a, a shelf or a switch or something like that. You can. I wanted to get the rack for this guy. They have little, a little rack for the USG and the cloud key that you can put it on and it, and it holds it like that. And it allows this to be towards the front. It's, 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 I don't think Ubiquity sells it. It's a, it's a, it is an aftermarket part. So this guy is pretty simple. This is just the unified cloud key and it controls th this stuff right here. Now you don't need this cloud key to control this stuff. You can still do it via the GUI, or sorry, via the con command line, but I, this just makes it simplified and makes it easy. You will see in my setup video how easy this cloud key makes the setup and usability of the uni Ubiquity Unified um, hardware. Hey guys, uh, this was an awesome video. I wanna thank all my subscribers. Thank you guys, you're the reason I do this. And this is Tech Nitwin and I'm out. Hey guys, it's Tech Nitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.